Hi everyone, it's Lucy here in Beijing, and today I want to tell you about five things you may not already know about China's recent spacecraft launch. On June 17th, China launched the Shenzhou 12, taking three astronauts into orbit. As people marvel at the tech and the scale of the project, here are five things you may not know. The first thing is, is compound chicken available in space? The short answer is, yes it is. To make sure that the three astronauts have a lovely stay in space, at the end of May, a cargo spacecraft brought up to China's space station 120 kinds of space food. In fact, almost 10 years ago in 2002, some type of traditional Chinese dishes have already been developed into space food. In the list, you can have um, kung pao chicken, of course, and also fish flavored shredded pork, which is one of my personal favorite. And of course, some green tea has been developed for after meal as well. How considerate! And the second thing you may not know is that the astronauts really attended to details of their appearance before going up to space. This time, China has sent three astronauts into space. Their commander is Mr. Nie Haishen, who is 56 years old and one of my personal heroes. I admire him because he had to work very, very hard to achieve what he's achieved today. His family was very poor. His father passed away when Nia was only 14 years old. Mr. Nia's colleague, highly respected Chinese astronaut Mr. Yang Liwei, once described Mr. Nia as very persistent and fearless. And recently, Mr. Yang actually told me a small detail about Mr. Nia's preparation before going up to space. He said that Mr. Nia has dyed his hair black around his temples to look good. And number three, did you know there's a special name for Chinese astronauts? In their tweets to congratulate China, both the European Space Agency and Roscosmos used the word Taikonauts. So not is actually the Greek word for sailor, and Taiko comes from Taiko, which is the Chinese word for space. And altogether, Taikonauts means the Chinese astronauts. So next time when you want to talk about Chinese astronauts, remember to use the word Taikonaut. Number four. Three European astronauts are learning Chinese. Inside the Tiangong Space Station, the operation interface is in Chinese. According to an agreement between the Chinese National Space Administration and its European counterpart, in 2022, three European astronauts will go up to the Chinese Space Station. And that is why the three European astronauts, one from Germany, one from Italy, and another from France, are mainly Chinese. And number five. The Chinese took naming their aircrafts and space station very seriously. So this time, the three astronauts went up with a Shenzhou 12 spacecraft. And Shenzhou actually is a word from classical Chinese, meaning the divine vessel or the heavenly river. So the divine vessel is Shenzhou. And I especially love the name of the Chinese space station, It gives me personally a lot of comfort knowing that our three brave astronauts are up there in Tiangong, the heavenly palace, because I want them to be safe and I want them to return home to Earth safely. I hope you enjoyed my 5 lesser known facts for China's spacecraft launch. Our three astronauts or taikonauts will be living in space this time for 3 long months, marking one of the longest missions in the history of China's space project. But what about you? Would you ever want to go up to space? Why or why not? Let me know in the comment section and bye for now.